to sign a petition for the legalization of cannabis. And so they had canvassers out there getting signatures while two of the canvassers have been arrested for falsifying signatures. It turns out that they were, I guess, writing someone's name without being allowed to by the person whose name they were writing, which isn't okay according to Florida's law. In fact, those people are gonna be punished severely for messing with the state's constitution. So if you're gonna get canvassers out there for your cannabis goals, make sure they're not, not doing a good job. Also, it is very sad story across the nation. Teens who are in states that have access to legal cannabis, not the teens themselves, but just in a very adult way, access to cannabis, they aren't able to get cannabis as easily as teens who are in states without legal cannabis access, which is actually in the face of all the fears about legalizing cannabis. A lot of places have to pay a community impact fee. Turns out the communities need to start paying their dispensary. Also in news, a new group looking at sports and the effects of cannabis on sports is putting out data. What they're saying is colleges that are in cannabis friendly areas have higher recruitment and the football teams in those areas have lower recruitment. Whereas the football teams where they don't have the cannabis available have higher recruitment and basketball has lower recruitment in those areas. The survey did not actually use data acquired from people who are in college or looking to play basketball or have anything to do with cannabis. It was, I guess, conjecture is what they're calling it, but it does show some trends that are significant, it seems. But it may be the NBA's acceptance of cannabis and protections for players who are cannabis users if they're looking to play professional sports with the NBA. Thanks for watching The Walk Daily.